But it's funny, isn't it? Like, as in, in one hand, doing what you've done and and still doing and, and having the career you've had, it, in many ways, f- for most kids from a working class town, is so unattainable. And yet, you know, you've seen it happen. You've seen, the great thing about Paul Tolbert is you've seen that movie play out through Burton, through Hopkins, through, you know, someone as close to you as Russell T. Davis. Yeah. You know, you, so, in many ways, the avenues aren't open, but then you, I guess when you've seen those trailblazers go before you, that that's kind of given you the, it almost normalizes mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Someone told me a fantastic story about how when they were a kid uh, living in Taibach, in, which is an area in Patelbert, they were a kid and, um, and Richard Burton came home with Elizabeth Taylor for a visit. And, uh, and he went to stay with his sister, his older sister, who was known as Sissy, who sort of brought him up, really. And so he was stay- that Richard and Elizabeth were staying with Sissy and not far from where this kid lived. So he was like, right, I'm going to go, going to go and knock on his door, on the door. So this kid went down, knocked on the door and Sissy came to the door and she said, yes. And he said, hello, is, is Mr. Burton there, please? Can I see him? Can I have his autograph? Sissy said, Richard. And so Burton comes to the door. Hello, and uh, what's your name? And uh, and the little and he said, do you, do you speak Welsh to this little kid? No, no, I don't speak Welsh. Ah, oh, not a proper Welshman. All this. And then he said, so uh, and Sissy said, this is um, uh, Dick the Baker's boy, you know, down by the co-op. And Burton said, oh, I used to work at the the co-op when I was younger. I was hopeless, hopeless. And this kid was quite pleased because this kid had been told that he was quite hopeless at school. So to hear. You know, Richard Burton saying he was a bit hopeless and to have met it. And he got his autograph and they had a cup of tea and a chat and all that. And it was amazing. And this kid came away thinking, well, if he can do it, you know, maybe I could do it. And also he said that he was hopeless. Now, that kid grew up and told me that story. Anthony Hopkins. No. It was Anthony Hopkins who was that kid and who told me that story. Yeah. So now, of course, I had... Both of them, the, 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 I, had, I knew that two young lads, one from Pontre de Ven, one from Taibach, had gone out there on the world stage and done it, you know, as well as lots of other people. But, you know, having that makes a massive difference to see someone who comes from where you come from out there doing it. Because, you know, Patelbert is not a place that you would think would produce actors particularly. 